Hey guys, welcome to Yupanka's YouTube channel. I'm Javi Aguilar, and today we are going to install Cubase on your computer. So after purchasing your version of Cubase from the nice guys in Yupanko in Makati, all you have to do is open the box. So I have the Cubase artist version. Don't worry about the education software. Open it up and you will get the essential product license information. So this houses your code, this one right here. Uh, don't, throw this, don't throw this away, this is really important. I'm showing you mine because it'll already be used. And of course, the USB dongle. So this one over here, you're going to need this connected to your computer every time you use Cubase. This prevents piracy because you know anybody can just download slash torrent whatever program they, that they want. So this is sort of a safeguard. So anyway, let's uh, head over to the website then download Cubase. Okay, so head over to the Steinberg Download Assistant website. So just search up Steinberg Download Assistant and it should be the first thing that you see. Okay, great. Now pick whatever operating system that you're on. So at least it goes to show that if you work either on a Mac or Windows, you can use the software. Okay, so just download the installer. Shouldn't take too long. It's a, it's a pretty small file. Then open the file and let's install. Okay, so it's just like any other thing that you install. Just, I, I don't think you'd even read this. Just click next, install the ario 2 thingy. Yeah, just next, next, next. I mean, really, who reads that entire readme file? Okay, so make sure that it is the right operating system. So you can actually pick 32-bit, 64-bit, or Mac OS. So you can actually in you can actually download the Windows version of whatever Steinberg product, Cubase, Nuendo Waves, um, and you can send over the file to a friend. But they actually need the uh, the dongle for them to use it. So just in case you're the guy with a good internet access or you know good ISP, you can you can be a good guy and download it for them. So while this is downloading, because that's about 23 gigs, uh, that's going to take a while, especially for Philippine internet. Uh, I just wanted to show you the specs uh, that you need to, to run Cubase. So it says you need 4 gigs of RAM and an Intel i5 or faster. But Intel i5 is a little bit vague. But just to give you maybe a better illustration, my good friend Mark runs a 2012 MacBook Pro and I know it has 4 gigs of RAM and I know he updated his hard drive into an SSD. So you don't actually need the best computer, you know, to run to run this software. Anyway, this is going to take a while, but for you guys it's only going to take a second for the magic of editing. So here. And we're done. Okay, so that only took a second for you and several hours for me to finish but we finally got the software downloaded so let's just open this up and uh, install again again super simple process just next 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 and you'll be done so we'll just speed through this okay great so now that we're done installing, let's head over to the website, create your own account. I already have mine, so I'm going to just sign in. And let's see if our, okay, great. So our soft e-licensor and USB e-licensor is here. Let's just click continue. Let's go down and click I'm done. Great, now let's register our e-licensor. And so this is where you will need your piece of paper with this code. That's what you type over here. Let's hit continue. And this is the activation code that we are going to use for our e-licensure control. So let's head over, let's head over to steinberg.net and look at downloads and let's look for our e-licensure control. Let's download that. Let's make sure that the version that we are getting is the latest one unless you're running older software and let's install it. 
Okay, nope, not that. Okay, this one. Let's click open, type in my password. Okay, great, just click next, 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 next. I accept, I do. Nobody really reads this. Just click next. Okay, start e-licensor control center. Let's make sure that's clicked. And okay, great. Let's perform the maintenance task to make sure everything is up to snuff. Great. Next, let's enter the activation code that we got from the website a while ago. Okay, let's copy paste this. And there we go. download license okay so the reason why I have an X on my license is because I already use the license for my Cubase 9 so I'm just upgrading to Cubase 10 so this shouldn't come out on yours it's, you should get a big check mark saying that you're able to to use the license so just in case that you have any problems I'll leave our contact details in the description below but uh, let's see if this is really if this is properly installed. And open Cubase 10. Okay, great. So now it's asking me if I want to start with Cubase Artist 10 or if I want to start with Cubase Pro 10 trial. It will give me about 25 hours to use it. I highly suggest you start with Cubase Artist 10 first before going to the Pro. Get used to the entire ecosystem, get used to all the features and the functionalities. And the time that you feel like you want to upgrade, maybe if you feel a little bit limited, try the Pro, fall in love with it, buy it. <laughs> anyway, let's see if uh, I get to open this up. Let's uh, open an empty project and okay, great. So we properly downloaded and installed Cubase on my computer. So I hope you were able to follow. Just in case you have any questions, feel free to shoot your questions down below. We'll uh, either in the comment section or we'll also leave our, our contact on maybe through Facebook on the video description. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next one where we'll get a little bit more familiar with the with the user interface. So I'll see you till then. Take care. Bye-bye.